Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to walk through how to create an invoice using the Invoice Builder screen inside Go High Level. This is the page where you enter all the details about your business, your customer, the products or services you're charging for, and how often the invoice should be sent. To create an invoice inside Go High Level, first make sure you're logged into your account and have selected the right sub-account or location. Once you're in the correct location, look over to the left-hand menu. Scroll until you find the section labeled Payments. Click on Payments. Inside this section, you'll see different tabs like Products, Transactions, and Invoices. Click on the tab that says Invoices. This is where all your invoice activity takes place. From here, click the New button at the top right of the screen. That will bring you to the Invoice Builder page which is where we'll spend the rest of this video. Let's go step by step through each section on this screen. At the top left, you'll see the section labeled Business and Customer Information. This is where you connect the invoice to your business and to the customer who will receive it. Under Business Information, you should already see your business name and website filled in. In this example, the business is called Smith Orthodontics and the website is already attached below. If you need to edit this information, you can click the small pencil icon to make changes. Next to the business information is the customer information section. This is where you select the person or company you are billing. Click on the drop down to choose an existing customer from your contacts. If you don't see the customer listed, you'll need to go back to your contacts and create them before returning here. Once selected, the customer's name and email will be pulled into the invoice automatically. Now we move down to the section labeled Add Products. This is where you list the items or services you are charging for. Each row is called a line item. You can either choose from your existing product catalog or manually type in new product details. Start by clicking the drop down under item and select a product. If no product is available, you can type the name of the item manually in the text box below. To the right of the item name, you'll see fields for price, quantity, and tax. Enter the price of the product or service in the price field. For example, if you are charging $200, just enter $200. Next to that, enter the quantity. This is the number of units or service hours. By default, it's set to 1, but you can change it if needed. To apply tax, click the Add Tax link. You can select a tax rate if you have one saved, or enter a custom tax amount. If you want tax to apply automatically on every line item, you can toggle the switch labeled Enable Tax Automatically. This saves time if all of your products are taxable. Below the item fields is a space for writing a description. This is helpful if you want to give more detail about the service or product. You can use this box to explain what the customer is being charged for. You can also format the text using bold, italics, or underline. This makes the invoice easier to read. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a real-time preview of your invoice. As you type in product names, prices, and taxes, the invoice will update to show exactly how it will appear to your customer. This preview includes your business name, contact information, and a breakdown of each item, including quantity, price, and subtotal. Back on the left, below the product table, you'll see the subtotal section. This shows the total amount before taxes or discounts are applied. If you want to give a discount, click Add Discount. You can enter either a percentage or a flat dollar amount. You can also click Add Tax here to apply tax across the entire invoice if you didn't do it per item. The total amount due is displayed under Amount Due. This number updates automatically as you add products, taxes and discounts. Always double check this number before saving or sending the invoice to make sure it matches what you intend to charge. Now let's look at the bottom of the page. You'll see a section called Recurring Invoice Settings. This is for invoices that need to be sent on a regular schedule, like every week or month. Use the drop down menu under How Often to select the frequency. You can choose options like weekly, monthly, or yearly. You'll also need to set a start date and, if needed, an end date. For example, if you want the invoice to be sent on the first of each month for six months, 
you would set the start and end dates accordingly. At the top right corner of the screen, there are two buttons, Save and Schedule. Click Save if you want to save the invoice as a draft and send it later. Click Schedule if you are ready to send the invoice or set it to go out automatically based on your recurring settings. If you click Schedule, a window will pop up asking for confirmation. It will also show you a preview of the email that your customer will receive, including a link to view and pay the invoice online. If everything looks correct, go ahead and schedule it. The system will now handle the rest. Your customer will get the invoice through email and can pay using the payment link if you have a payment method like Stripe Connected. This invoice builder is a powerful tool inside Go High Level that helps you stay organized and get paid faster. It connects directly to your CRM so you don't have to switch between systems. It also gives you a clean and professional look that your clients will appreciate. Creating and sending invoices is straightforward with Go High Level. If you're interested in streamlining your billing process, check out the 14-day free trial link in the description and see how it can benefit your business.